had enough already. We're gonna do another planting video. Um, got this little azalea from the garden center and um, figured I'd stick it in the ground somewhere. See if it lives, if it dies. It's kind of the permaculture approach. I'm just tucking it up near this tree um, and this other jujube. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna plant it um, right here in the middle of all this grass, in the middle of all this lawn. Um, I'm gonna dig a hole about as deep as the root ball for the plant and I'm gonna sheet mulch around it. That's really the purpose of this video. So we'll pause and I'll get a hole dug. Boom, magic, hole dug. So come on over here and uh, we'll get it planted. So I just guessed, um, try to keep it about the same. It might be a little bit higher, um, but that'll be okay because we're gonna build a lot of soil when we um, suppress all this grass and other things. So a little bit fell in the hole. That's gonna be okay. This is uh, Karumi Azalea. It's a really small azalea. I want them small because I don't want to waste a lot of space on a big azalea. Boom, set it down. I did pretty well. Um, if you look at your roots of your plant, if they're coiled a lot, you want to loosen them up. Um, I'll tear these a little, but for the most part, these are little fibrous roots. They're not really the, the main branches. So should still have a good branching pattern to those roots. So here's the big part. Um, I want to try and reuse this soil that was here, but ultimately um, I'll probably be a little bit short. So rather than uh, leave an unfinished hole, we brought over a little bit of fill soil from someplace else. So I can bring that in as well. And what I'm trying to do is make sure there are no air gaps down under the soil. If you um, see there's a little bit of space Pretty much, I, I usually do enough so I can slide my fingers in. That way I can take my nice soil and really push it in there. You don't want to work with soil when it's wet, especially clay soil. Um, so a lot of what we have here in Houston is clay. If this is so wet that it's sticky, pushing it in is going to compress out too much of the air space and the plant's not going to do as well. Um, so fortunately this soil doesn't have too much clay actually, which is kind of rare, but there's a nice solid seal, no big air pockets, um, plenty of space for the roots to grow, and we're back about to soil level. Now for the next step, so if you're out on your vacant lot and you want your little tree to grow, whatever you're planting, you want to give it some advantage over the competition. Now, everything around it is competition. So I'm going to use some newspaper and then some weight to suppress all these things around it. Basically, um, sheet mulching, there is no right and wrong, there's no essential, but what really helps you out is weight. So the newspaper is kind of like a, a sealer, so the grass have more trouble coming up through it. but. If you have a lot of moist material, or just more material, it works the same way. So, there's a little bit of a hill here from when I planted this jujube. So, there we go. There we go. And back here. Alright. Home stretch. Get some materials. Got... These are just bags we picked up on the side of the road. So the key here is thickness, lots of stuff. This one is a little bit drier, so that means less weight. But still good, it's even got some sticks. You guys might have heard sticks are really good for mulch. So just loading it on. And last one, back in the back. Oh, it's still green. Duranta. All right, well, that's about it. I'm gonna water it in, 